Gather around as I share a bone-chilling tale of a camping trip gone horribly wrong. It happened five years ago when my friend and I embarked on an adventure to a secluded valley hidden deep within the wilderness. After enduring a grueling 10-hour drive followed by a 5-hour hike, we finally arrived at this untouched paradise surrounded by majestic mountains, crystal-clear waters, and the freshest air imaginable. Excitedly, we set up camp and decided to try our luck with fishing. The tranquility of nature was abruptly interrupted by a strange sound that echoed through the valley. At first, I dismissed it as a mere bug or a bird, but as the noise persisted, it became increasingly apparent that it resembled the voice of a person. Puzzled by this unexpected intrusion, I turned to my friend, Brad, and asked if he thought someone else had ventured into our secret haven. With confidence, Brad reassured me that this place was known only to him. Yet, as I scanned our surroundings, my eyes widened in disbelief. There, lurking in the tall grass, stood a man wearing tattered garments, his gaze fixed upon us. Something about his appearance sent shivers down my spine. He clutched a piece of raw meat in his hand, which I assumed to be the remnants of some unfortunate animal. Fear coursed through me, and I shouted out, demanding to know who he was. To my dismay, he remained silent, emitting strange insect-like noises that made my skin crawl. Instinctively, we reached for our cell phones, ready to summon the police. But before we could make the call, the man vanished into the depths of the forest, leaving us bewildered and anxious. We debated whether to abandon our camping expedition, but the arduous journey we had undertaken made turning back seem impossible. Reluctantly, we pushed the unnerving encounter to the back of our minds and succumbed to sleep. Little did we know that the night held horrors beyond our imagination. A piercing scream jolted me awake, and I realized it was Brad's anguished cry. Panic surged through me as I rushed to his tent, only to witness a macabre scene that defied reason. The man from earlier, accompanied by several others, had ensnared Brad, their hands gripping his limbs with a frenzied strength. In horror, I watched as they viciously pulled at his arms and legs, a sickening chorus of bones and cartilage snapping under their relentless assault. My body trembled as I fumbled for my cell phone, desperate to dial emergency services. But to my dismay, my voice failed me, reduced to mere gasps and whispers. Help was on its way, but it felt agonizingly distant. With no other option, I fled into the dark woods, tears streaming down my face. The soles of my feet bore the brunt of my frantic escape, blood trailing in my wake. After what seemed like an eternity, the sound of sirens pierced the night, signaling the arrival of the police. But tragically, it was too late for Brad. The life had been ripped from his body, leaving behind a gruesome display of torn limbs within the confines of his tent. Days later, the police revealed that they had apprehended the culprits responsible for this heinous act. It turned out to be a family living a primitive existence in the heart of the mountains, completely detached from civilization. Their survival depended on grazing the land and consuming animals in the most barbaric manner. Living in seclusion had granted them an inhuman strength enabling them to tear Brad's limbs from his body with nothing but their bare hands. Their ability to communicate had regressed to a near non-existent state, rendering them unable to express themselves adequately. When questioned about the whereabouts of Brad's severed limbs, their gestures and crude mimicry pointed to their own stomachs, insinuating they had consumed them. Furthermore, their gaze fixed upon the officer's limbs accompanied by unsettling gestures that hinted at a sinister desire to feast upon them. Now, these savage individuals reside behind bars, completely isolated from the general prison population, 
as their dangerous nature poses a threat to others. But the chilling memory of that camping trip, forever etched into my mind, serves as a reminder of the darkness that can lurk even within the most serene of places.